So speaking to the meta, a lot of pros have had really strong opinions on whether they think it's a good meta or a bad meta. What do you think? I mean, it's my meta. Flash forward, and who he gets? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Certainly, it's very hard to look at these lineups and not immediately point out the world finalist in the top lane for Echo Fox. His return back to North America, it's Huni. I'm so excited for him to be back in North America because despite what Huni said, a lot of people think he sucks. I think Huni could immediately just be perhaps the best player in the entire league. Congratulations, you have all these people cheering on for you. Now, you marked your return to the NALCS with your signature top lane Lucian. How does it feel to have such a strong first game back? I mean, my top Lucian is always prepared it, so. <laughs> These guys are just like a, like a family almost, it's great. And like we're just playing as a team more, definitely compared to before. Oh, means his death, what a turn in the game! Echo Fox heated up immediately! We play pretty well, so that's why we won. Well, you play against Cloud9 tomorrow, and depending on the results of their match today, you guys could have another battle for first place. What do you think about going into that match? C9 is definitely their like strongest team in the analysis right now. I mean, obviously, next to us. There's Lickerson Hooney back at it again, but this is a tough one for Lucian. It's the flash. Hooney takes him down. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is Beetle? What should I do? Are you actually scared, bro? It's not gonna do anything. I mean, I don't see it. Oh, oh this is nasty. Oh. <laughs> Slow. One Marauder claps him down. Hootie finds the fourth kill of the extended fight. Final flash, final flash. Their carries are there for 30 seconds. Scion, Scarner, 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 Scarner. Nice. Okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. Turn it, turn it, turn it. And then, and then, and then. Turn it, turn it. And then, and then, and then. Turn it. Uh, it uh, Kaylin in five, Kaylin in five. Turn, 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 turn. We're good, we're good. We got it. <laughs> that they're not a better team than us. So definitely, like, we have so much confidence in it. <laughs> Summer is right around the corner, and I can't wait. We're still trying to make it the Worlds, and we still want to win a World Championship. In the top lane, Hooney. In the jungle, potentially Hooney. In the mid lane, Hooney. Woo! Bot lane, Hooney, with support, Hooney, and coach, Honey. Clutch Gaming loads up against Echo Fox. Oh, never mind, man. Oh, Hooney caught, finally! The wave is going to fall down, a poly forward, but we I entered the matrix. Uh, quick pause, try and figure out what happened here. When we are like kind of pausing there, it feels kind of not good, obviously, right? And server crashed. It was kind of weird. Then on Sunday, things got really weird against Clutch Gaming when Huni's Talia broke the game. Riot servers crashed and the game was paused for over 30 minutes while Riot officials and techs tried to solve the issue. That's insane. It was like really good to be there. We actually learned a lot because like this is actually really kind of international. Who, who counts as like top three team, which is like reason any reason top three team versus Europe. Echo Fox, they have just knocked G2 out of the best of five, and Echo Fox are gonna take them down. Kills for the flash for Hooney. He will knock down Cody Sun, but now he's in enemy territory. One versus three nearby. Hoping for the empowered recall. Does he get it in time? No, the pillar comes down. Hooney has to jump pretty soon, but he's still 1v3. And if he jumps, he shows up in a Cho'Gath. Goes for the big ult. Gets some pretty big damage. Oh, he's oh. gonna get him! You're freaking kidding me! Hooney picks up one, but he's gonna be raptured and Ryu gets the shutdown. Oh, Hooney gets two kills for his trouble in the teleport into enemy territory. And last question for you. I heard you got your new set of wheels, Orange Range Rover, drove it into the studio today. Where are you taking it first, and can I come with you? I will think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Boy, oh boy, am I excited for some playoff action here as well. Well, the week going into practice for a quarterfinal match, we used Huni in one game on the first day of the first week of practice. 
So after, after that game, he was not feeling too well, and he ended up going to the hospital that same day. One more game, Hooney, and then you can go home and lay down. And... Random game of game five at Coral Finals. Silver Screen. I fucking just want to kill myself. We know Echo Fox is favored coming into this matchup. For Echo Fox, Hooney takes down Solo in a solo kill on the butt side. Smoothie and Devontae looking to make the final stand. They will not stand any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a clean sweep. And TSM will go to the gauntlet finale tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, from my experience, the gauntlet feels pretty bad, which is like, I knew if you lose, it's going to happen, you know. It's like, it feels really bad, but I know I'm not like a bad player, so pretty much that's why I'm more like dis disappointed. Yeah, I mean, this 2018 for Echo Fox is like bad season, but not for me, obviously. I mean, for me, it's like totally failed season, but as a team, at least we're getting better, and also I made it, like, which is like Echo Fox have never been in the playoff, and I'm here. And then I made first time. So probably I should be pointing more that about it, even though I'm pretty disappointed myself. Like as a team, as a company, as a like not only like me. So I should be more looking bigger that I still need to succeed for my team. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Peace.